Taylor here with AgriSpray Drones. We're going to explain today what the differences are between the generator, the 12,000i for the T40 batteries, and the T30 slash T40 charger setup. So just by looking at these two systems, you can see that the 12,000i generator is a much cleaner setup. We just have one cord coming out of the generator, going right into our battery, and it plugs directly into our cooling station. There are no other kits needed, no other cords needed. It simply works the way it is. It is specifically designed for a T40 battery and you can use T30 batteries in there as well. And you do also have one 1500 watt outlet there for auxiliary power. But really this generator is specifically designed for T40 batteries. You can't really do anything else with it besides maybe run a pump, maybe run a fan uh, and your, your battery chargers for your remotes. Okay, now how does this compare to a setup over here with the T30 charger? So you see with the T30 charger, we actually have to provide our own generator. So we tend to use Westinghouse generators. Uh, they're pretty common and relatively affordable. This is a 9,500 running watt generator. This is the minimum you're gonna need to power this charger at full capacity to charge batteries as fast as you can. So this charger here plugs in to our 50 amp outlet. Cords go into the back of the charger. Out of the charger, we have two leads here. So the T30 charger can actually plug into two batteries at once versus the generator can only plug into one battery. That doesn't mean you can charge two batteries at the same time. This charger only charges one battery at once and then it switches to the other battery when the first battery is charged. Okay, but now you'll notice that on the charger, our ends look different than our generator charger. So if we want to use the cooling station with the T30 charger, we have to have uh, the AgriSpray Drones cooling kit. The cooling kit comes with two of these adapter cords here and it comes with two of these power supplies to run your fans. These power supplies hook into a 110 outlet. So you see we have two uh, hooked in right there. Those are going to two different power supplies for both of our fans. You see both of these leads here go into our two cooling stations. So to simplify this, the, this is essentially the T30 slash T40 charger along with the AgriSpray Drones cooling kit versus just the DJI 12,000i generator with no cooling kit because one of these comes in every box uh, of, T, of, of a T40 drone. Okay, so now that you can see what the differences are uh, physically, what does it mean in terms of operation and what are our recommendations? Okay, so we've tested the charging speeds between the generator and the charger. And we found that the DJI 12,000i generator does charge T40 batteries about a minute to a minute and a half faster from 40% to 100%. That's about a minute to a minute and a half faster than this. So this is faster than this, slightly. Now there is a different cord setup that you can use that you might be able to cut that down a little bit, but essentially this is gonna be faster. Now caveat to that, you do only have one cord here. So that means whenever this battery is done charging, it does not switch over to another battery. When it's done charging, it stops charging this battery. You have to pull it out and then put in a new battery. So if you're paying attention or if you're swapping batteries very rapidly or all the time, then this may be a better option because it does charge faster. Now over here, whenever one's done charging, it switches over to the other battery. So if you miss it by, let's say, a minute or so, it doesn't matter because it's going to stop charging this battery. That one's full. Start charging that battery. That makes sense. So what are our recommendations on what you should get? Well, personally, I think everybody should get this option here. This will be, A, the cheaper option. So the cooling kit, um, the charger, and a generator like this will still be cheaper than this option and it'll work for most operations. Now, if you're running a very efficient operation and you're cycling batteries rapidly, uh, you have a turnaround time of five minutes or so, um, you're operating on really big fields, 
maybe running multiple drones um, and you have one person whose job it is to just swap batteries all the time um, and do the refills and everything, then maybe this option is better because it does charge faster. Um, but we should have these in stock. If you just get this and later you want to get one of these, that may work for you as well. I hope that explains everything about these, uh, the charger and generator situation. If you have any more questions, please give us a call. Thanks.